Zaharias is just come online. Zaharias, can you hear us? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll go yeah. on with your presentation. Katna Dami, apologies. We will try again later. We'll give the floor now to, to Zaharias again to follow up with his speech. Are you going to start from the beginning, I hope, Zaharias? Uh, okay. Uh, I start from the from the beginning because I'm not sure where I was interrupted. Um, uh, as I started saying, uh, I'm, I'm going to follow a bit on uh, Mark O'Neill's uh, presentation because I'm going to refer to something that uh, he already presented. Since the Digital Waves is, is a project that uh, CMMI is uh, currently uh, running together with uh, Columbia Ship Management and, and Blue Dynamics. So so what did yeah. Do you want to uh, press F5 to have a full screen of your presentation? Because we can see the slides on the left now. Mm -hmm. Let me slide. Go slide. Go slide go. Mm -hmm. We don't want. Okay, let's not let's not yeah. get any more. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so the the digital waves is a project uh, that we are running together with Columbia and uh, and uh, Blue Dynamics. It's uh, what we did. We we look at the challenges that our industry is facing. Uh, this is uh, many of them have already been mentioned by previous speakers. Is the decarbonization and how to make our uh, shipping more sustainable? How to address the complex operational systems and the uh, complex maritime regulations? The, of course, the increased demand for the usage of the maritime environment by many industries beyond shipping. Uh, we are looking into the challenges uh, uh, for uh, crew, either health and safety, and the pandemic made this even more uh, now uh, raise the priority for all of us. We are at the same time looking on integrating and optim optimizing the new many um, uh, many new uh, capabilities in sensing and processing of data and, and the challenges we are facing. I think already many of the speakers refer to these uh, challenges. So we are trying to see how to address them. We are looking, of course, to the change of business models as a result of all these uh, changes, in technologies and, uh, and its uh, uh, influence on the people. So we need to change also the culture and to adapt and retrain our uh, staff, uh, both on board the ships and, and ashore. We already have the challenge of retrofitting all systems. And of course, we all could got used uh, at least short side on real time interaction with uh, others. And this is also a challenge for our industry, how to make this interaction real time with our ships, our crew, and the many other stakeholders around us. And, and finally, we are looking into moving the maintenance uh, systems that we currently run most of us in, in shipping from the plan condition based maintenance to predictive maintenance so the approach we are following through digital waves aims to transform the ship management in order to be able to tackle the modern challenges in our industry by developing a strategy for research and innovation which is the main uh, uh, strategy of our institute, engage uh, actively with uh, the partners and users around us, uh, very important at attracting the digital talent that we need in order to address these challenges, using artificial intelligence uh, technology in order to augment and enhance the human capability in decision making and the day-to-day uh, -day execution operation of our ships. Uh, so the strategy of, uh, of the Digital Waves project, uh, uh, we apply a principal process of uh, transformation that includes the, as you can see on my slide, hopefully, the mapping of the ship management space to identify what are the priorities and the capabilities for the sector of our industry, determining uh, the, the initiatives that will uh, systematically um, Uh, that will systematically produce immediate tangible results. We are aiming to have results as soon as possible, but also to determine the future steps. Uh, at the same time, we are aiming to apply novel methods for uh, data management, information extraction, and optimization, uh, 
rippling through the shipping industry to establish partnerships for the exchange of data, resources, and expertise to develop innovative solutions. And we are using the CMMI as the web of experts in order to attract all these partnerships together to achieve this aim. And, and of course, attracting a digital talent by building a brand associated with research and innovation excellence, which is one of the main priorities of our institute. So the, the core team of, of the project at the moment is uh, ourselves, the uh, Cyprus Marine Maritime Institute as a center of excellence in research and innovation. Uh, Columbia Ship Management, which uh, you all know as uh, world-class ship management and uh, and Mark has already presented uh, what they are already doing in, in Columbia and Blue Dynamics and IT solutions um, uh, provider for the industry. We are, of course, aiming for additional partners for specific projects uh, in order to combine um, uh, their strength either in from the research and innovation community, from the industry, Digitalization specialists, which is are now one of the main challenges in addressing uh, our uh, uh, various issues, the government, and of course we are all, always looking also for investors. A uh, few words on, on, on our institute, which is it's a new one. I think we are well known in Cyprus, for, but for those who are listening from abroad, just to say that we are a a new uh, a scientific and business center of excellence for the marine and maritime sectors. We are uh, aiming to be driven by the needs of the industry and society in addressing all these major challenges that uh, these sectors are uh, facing and they will face in the future. Just to say that we were only established last year following a very competitive selection of three years uh, and we got funded from the European Union's Horizon program, uh, and but at the same time with the funding, uh, with a matching fund from the government of Cyprus, but also with a lot of uh, in-kind contribution from the industry. So we are very much uh, uh, engaged with the shipping industry, especially on the island, but also all the other stakeholders of uh, of our industry, either government, academia, and uh, and so on. Uh, Columbia Ship Management, uh, I'm sure everybody knows Columbia. It's an international organization with 40 years of experience. It's a world-class ship management and maritime services provider. It has more than 20 offices around the world, um, including crew agencies and training centers, uh, around 15,000 employees. Uh, providing custom services optimized to their clients' uh, needs. And uh, of course, as you heard just uh, 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 less than an hour ago by Mark O'Neill, uh, the CEO of Columbia, uh, Columbia very much embraces the digitalization era and, and works uh, in, in achieving technological revolution in many areas. And so we are very happy and proud to, to work now with them. Uh, Blue Dynamics is, is also a, a very dynamic and innovative IT company. They have experience in automation and, and digital transformation in key business sections and uh, provide solutions for the maritime industry. It specializes in conceptual designs, maritime software, architecture and development integration. So what are the capabilities of this uh, uh, consortium. We have complementary capabilities, of course, which allow us to develop uh, technological solutions for the maritime industry in, in the area of uh, digitalization. We are trying to develop uh, enhanced research and development capabilities in the sector and uh, to digitize and optimize operations. Either this relates to cost, sensors and connectivity and uh, at the same time, enhance capability in IT, data management, system integration. And of course, we are aiming to increase the consortium network with further collaboration. So again, I repeat, CMMI is an independent organization uh, embraced by all the industry. We are looking to act as the web of experts that will work together to achieve uh, 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 all these um, uh, aims. We are combining research 
uh, with hands-on uh, uh, experience from the industry. And of course, we are looking into achieving funding in exploring funding possibilities either from uh, EU um, calls or elsewhere. And of course, to receive uh, feedback from partners on business models and procedures that will help us achieve this optimization. We are looking to apply all this in engine room operation, optimizing uh, engine and uh, uh, operation and, and preventive maintenance. We are aiming, and you have seen some videos by Mark on, on vi visualizing the, the Halle machinery operations, trying to optimize performance of the various aspects of, uh, of a ship operation and of a shipping company operation. Very much uh, we are aiming uh, uh, on visualization in order to, to, to use it also for emergency decision support and, and for training of the crew. As I said, crew health and well-being are now becoming even more uh, important. And of course, the training of, of crew, but also the, the office uh, staff in, in, in this new uh, environment. So the projects, you all already heard and seen the video uh, on what is the POCR, is the Performance Optimization Control Room at Columbia. Uh, so we are aiming to improve this further. We have another project which relates to ship digital uh, twin decision support system. We are talking of a maritime IoT laboratory. And I will say a few things on, on all this uh, later on. I'm just uh, uh, measuring the titles. And of course, in the crew training. So what is the POCR vessel optimization? We are looking on to data acquisition on board the ship. We are looking into uh, Internet of Things for the maritime sector. We are looking into edge processing software, connectivity, onshore cloud artificial intelligence uh, platform, the data standardization, which uh, I think uh, we had a question earlier, uh, and of course, data fusion and validation, again, is uh, the issue of, uh, of the sensors, and I will refer later on this. And, and of course, an important element in improving further the existing capabilities of the Columbia's POCR is the engine analyzer, which is an innovative concept that will enable the digital transformation journey also for the machinery uh, areas of the ship by optimizing its operation using all these new technologies. Then we have the ship digital twin decision support system where we are trying through visual representation of the ship in its entire life cycle, uh, try to optimize the performance, analyzing the, the, the root uh, cause and have real time parameters. We are aiming to crew familiarization and training and I'm sure everybody can appreciate how this can help us in, in, in addressing the today's challenges with our crew. Establishing a more digitalized emergency decision support systems and planning beyond the, the ones we currently have, which are more or less based on, on, on old uh, technologies. And of course, consolidating and visualizing the information uh, of the very essential operational assets we are operating. Uh, what is the maritime IoT lab? Um, it, it, it's aiming to be an ecosystem where we will be testing and evaluating new sensors. Uh, already the, the challenge was mentioned by previous. Uh, we are trying to simulate the, the ship as a maritime IoT lab. We are trying to, uh, through data acquisition and edge processing capabilities, to address these challenges. So we are looking into uh, various technologies in, in trying to address the challenges when it comes to, to the sensors. And then we have the, the innovative crew training, uh, which is very much linked to what we all call today digital twins. Uh, we are talking of digital walkthrough of ships and digital uh, offline familiarization with safety and uh, crisis management and other aspects of the ship. Uh, and of course, we have the uh, augmented reality and virtual reality in achieving this innovative crew training. And we are already actually involved in specific um, uh, 
projects together with Columbia in looking into these uh, areas. I think, Alex, I covered all my slides. Thank you, Zaharias. Indeed, uh, very excited to hear about CMMI. It's lovely to see that uh, such a young institute, which was very much needed on our island, to exploit the expertise we have on the island, especially on the shipping sector, is already teaming up with some of our industry leaders on projects of. Yeah, yeah, and, and just to, to say, Alex, that this is uh, all the young organization, this is just one of the many uh, projects we are running with our uh, local industry, hopefully in the future also with the international industry, but uh, we are running projects uh, with many local stakeholders. And, we, and this indicates how much close we are to, to, to the industry and, and especially our motto of being driven by the industry and society in whatever research we do in, in our institute. Thank you. Thank you, Zaharias. Uh, again, every wish for success to make Cyprus and make CMMI a, a leading institute that will promote Cyprus reputation even further. I don't see any questions for you, Zaharias, at this moment. Maybe when you start moving on to your projects in the next presentation. So we will move on to the next presentation. Might take me a minute to read it, so bear with me, please. One of the biggest challenges that the digital transformation faces are related to the way artificial intelligence is applied. There are algorithms, algorithms which are collecting data and through tailor-made tools can affect the decision-making of the users. What are the initiatives or how the industry will protect itself against attempts that will focus on affecting the decision-making for their own benefits? Is the industry prepared a relevant regulatory framework or this will be left on the companies to deal with? An extremely simple example is the forecasting of the energy required to perform a voyage optimized or forecasting an optimized revenue of the vessel based on the trading areas of the vessel. In both cases, through the decision-making process, an owner can experience loss or even accidents. There are some statements and a few questions. I don't know if you registered them, Zaharia, so if you would like me to repeat them, but I think you also have access to the question as well, in case. Yeah, well, I've seen the, the, the question of Mr. Karimalis, and thank you very much. It's very, of, of course, a uh, relevant question and, 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 and definitely very important for us aspect which we are looking at. And of course, as I said, this is a, a project we are currently running uh, for the last eight months together with uh, with Columbia, and we are looking all to all to to these challenges actually, trying to find the best ways to to address them. And we are also always looking to to get the views and, and the input from all the experts around us. CMMI, it's it's an international center, and we are very open to, 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 to get also the input and support and, and engage with all the stakeholders in finding always the best solution in these challenges. But definitely something that uh, we frequently discuss among ourselves, uh, uh, this aspect, yeah. Thank you, Zaharias. I don't see any more questions, so we will release you, Zaharias. Thank you again. Thank you, Alex, and apologies for previous problems. <laughs> no, well, this is digitalization. We have to see a way to go yet, but we will get there. Uh, Thank you. 